What's going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? And for those of you that may know the MacBooks, you know, the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air, as well as Apple's Magic Trackpad, you'll know that those are multi-touch trackpads. Now, when I have heard of that, I was like, the first time I heard of it, I was like, why doesn't Windows have this? Apparently, I was wrong ever since I got this Windows 7 PC right here, which is the Sony VAIO F-Series. And to be exact with the model number, this is the VPCF2. In this video, what I'm going to be showing you is the different multi-touch gestures that you can do using the Windows 7 trackpad that's on your Windows 7 laptop. And this is standard on all Windows 7 laptops. Whether you have a Dell or an HP, it doesn't matter. Now, as I show you the different multi touch gestures that you can do on your Windows 7 PC. I'm also going to be talking about what how it feels to be doing those gestures. So without further ado, let's get on to it. The first gesture is called panning with an iridia. And what this does is it's basically used for scrolling. So when you're on the website, for example, let's go to wikipedia.com on Steve Jobs right here. So what I'm going to do, and if I take two fingers and scroll down on the trackpad, Make sure they're both hitting the trackpad simultaneously and you scroll down, not even on the window, scroll down. You can see that it's scrolling, but it's not scrolling with you as you are scrolling your fingers down. And you could basically do the same thing when you're scrolling your fingers up. Now, to me, it it is okay having that feeling, but at the same time, I want to make sure that the web page is scrolling otherwise I'll be doing this doing this all the time and I believe that you'll get a much better experience with that on a Mac now is the the Sony VAIO's PC's fault no I think this is probably standard on all Windows 7 laptops now what you all can also do is have one finger and just drag on the trackpad. Now, as you can see, as I'm dragging on the trackpad, all I can do is move on the cursor. That's because you have to go all the way to the right side and use your finger to scroll up or down. And as you can see, it's a much better experience. And if you like scroll too close to the bottom, uh, and then it'll activate reverse scrolling. Now, in this case, it's not doing it for me. I don't understand. Wait a minute. Or I'm sorry, in this case, if you move all the way to the left, it'll activate reverse scrolling, and that's what comes standard on OS X Lion. However, you do have the option to change that. All right, so that's the first gesture that you have. Now, please note, if you were to use one finger and just scroll on the right side, HP laptops, they do have a little diagram right here, which will show you what that's for. The next one is called selection or drag. Now what this does is it's basically just mouse drag. You know you can just drag one finger you know anywhere. Uh, we all understand that. Okay now the next gesture you have is called zoom and it's basically you basically just zoom in on the web page. Now it doesn't have to be a web page. It can also be a picture. So you're gonna take two fingers and you're gonna move them apart or towards each other. Moving them apart let you zoom in on the web page and then moving them towards each other let you zoom out of the web page or image as well so I have two fingers right here and just tap on it move your fingers out and I keep not getting on the web page okay so as you can see it's zoomed in and if I zoom in towards each other it zooms out so as you can see, it's not zooming in or zooming out with you. It'll just wait till you're done and then it'll just zoom out. Now, I'm not sure if that's the same thing you're going to experience with the Max, but it it is, then they're both pretty much the same experience. Okay, so the next gesture we have is called rotate. And all you can do, this is basically or mainly used for pictures. So I have a picture right here. This is my profile picture for my YouTube channel as well as my Twitter account. I'll just take, take two fingers, okay? And you can have one finger staying on the trackpad and you can just move the other. Or I'm not sure how that works because this is use one finger to pivot around each other so I'm not completely sure about that 
So as you can see, it's rotating right now. And that's how it works. And this is pretty smooth, and it actually is very fast. So th this gesture, I have to say, it's not that bad. So that's all the gestures I have to show you in this video now. Am I done, or is that all of the gestures you can do? No, and here's why I didn't show them all, because I still cannot figure out how to do those. So let's go back to this web page right here. So as you can see, we did the first one right here, and the second one, you guys should know that. The This one right here, I don't understand how to do it. It's press and tap. That's basically for right click. I don't know if I'm supposed to go, like I tried going on the link right here, and just try tapping it with both my fingers. I can't figure that one out. So, rotate, we already got that. Two finger tap, I don't understand it because I thought two fingers would tap on the link and then it'll work. Um, not gonna work. Press and hold for right click, I don't understand that as well. And flex, yeah, you, you, you should know that by now. It's basically the same thing. So, these are all the gestures that you can do. This is the website where I got it from. However, I wasn't able to show you all of it because I don't understand how to do some of them. And maybe you guys might figure out. But if you guys just want to click on the link without having to use the trackpad, you can always use the physical buttons right here. And also when you're on a link, you can just tap on it once. And then there you go. Tap it once and there you go. And when you want to open up a program or something, all you have to do is double tap. And as you can see, it is opening right now. Now, how does it feel to use this Windows 7 trackpad? And in this case, I have the Sony VIA VPC F2. Well, let's take a look at the design of the trackpad itself. So as you can see, it does has these little dots right here. Now, I thought I wasn't going to get used to that feeling because I would much prefer a smoother feeling without these dots. But after a while, I have gotten used to this tr trackpad being the way it is. So it's not bad. Now, what I prefer using a trackpad well, I wouldn't prefer it, even if you're just using it for browsing the web, I would prefer a mouse because that's m much easier and it's much faster to move the cursor because the slightest movement I use my mouse and I move it, it will just move instantly like that. But whereas a trackpad, you have to keep moving around, panning. Now, I heard people complain about the trackpad on the Sony VIA F-Series, the VPC F2. However, I don't think that's a concern to me because me personally, I think all trackpads are the same. They're just designed differently on the outside. In this case, I have like this dotted design right here. This was a demo of Windows Touch gestures for your Windows 7 PC laptop. Let me know what do you guys think about these features. And for those of you that own a Windows 7 PC, maybe a Windows 7 trackpad or something, I don't know what accessory or what computer you're using, let me know. What are your experiences about using this trackpad on here? In this case, I have the Sony VIA VPC F2. Me personally, the trackpad, it, it's okay, but I would just prefer a mouse like I said before. And I will see you guys in the next video. Go ahead and comment down below. You have a good day now. Before I go, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com slash Ben I saw guy.